Hello, thanks for joining me, astrologer Patrick Arundel, for your astrological overview for week commencing the 6th of June. Last week's late new moon in the sign of Gemini was particularly special due to the role of Venus combining with the sun and, of course, the moon. This is going to give an awful lot of relating and social capability to us all over the next three or four weeks. It's an opportunity to connect, but our listening skills are going to be just as important as our ability to dazzle people with the force of our personalities. So do tune in to what others say as well. And in fact, the, the need to be more attuned to what people say to us comes from the role of Saturn, which was feeding into this new moon from the sign of Sagittarius. The grand mutable cross which has really rocked the heavens at the end of May and into the start of June, really is very apparent at the start of this week too. And with the Sun and Venus continuing to square up to both Jupiter and Neptune, there could be a sense of unreality. So if you do meet someone who seems to promise the Earth, it probably is best to be a little bit sceptical until you get to know them a little bit better. You may find your own enthusiasm could see you overlook the details or any nagging doubts if something seems very alluring. But by the end of this week, both the Sun and Venus begin to angle up to Uranus, the planet of surprises in the rather go-to-it sign or combination in the sign of Aries. And there could be an opportunity for some changes of plan, some more spontaneous activities or invites, which really can stimulate us all. But ironically, the ruler of both Gemini and Virgo, where the Sun and Venus and Jupiter are located at the moment, is Mercury. And that is opposed very strongly this week by the retreating Mars. The suggestion here is there could be some tussles, and those tussles may be over money, assets, or differences of values. There could be some very outspoken, direct confrontations, whether they are political in a global sense or more to do with our own personal situations. And that's where the charm of Venus is set to be so important. Even if someone does set us back on our heels, it's going to be important to respond as diplomatically as possible. But at the same time, if you do need to defend your position, when Mercury, in the stubborn sign of Taurus, against the fixed energies of the Mars in Scorpio location, there could be some kind of standoff, which even a certain amount of diplomacy can't cover up. But it just really requires us to only bring out the cannons, the proverbial cannons, on a situation which really warrants it. So it is about appropriateness. But you could encounter someone who's quite forceful. And as I say, maintain your boundaries and parameters if need be. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.